Hey everyone, my name is Isa, and I wanted to talk about a fundamental thing that I think a lot of people need to know going into programming and computer science, and that is how to use Git or GitHub. So Git is a version control system. It's developed by the same person who developed Linux, and it's something that's quite useful, and I'm kind of surprised that not m many people are familiar with it or know how to use it. So I wanted to do a little like surface introduction. So we have a sample project. So let me find it. So this is just our project. So we just have some code. This is in JavaScript. So let's get the code window. So this is kind of like what we have. So we have some, you know, some rendering and some, you know, graphic stuff. It doesn't really matter what the code is. So what we first will do is get in it. And this will create, so if we list everything, so let, let's list what's in the file. So we don't really see anything, but if I say list and then all, so we we get this little dot .git folder. So if we look into this folder, so you see we have branches, config, we have just a bunch of like stuff for git. So what this means now is that we can start versioning this. And when we version, we are basically taking a snapshot of this of the project in different stages of its life. So, you know, initial the initial commit would be just like, you know, adding everything, like setting up the project. So if I say git um, add, this is going to stage it to be committed. So basically this is saying like, hey, all of this stuff, we want to we want to collect it and make this our first commit. So a commit is like a, you know, you're creating it and making it a snapshot. Like this is the snapshot. So if we, let's let's do that. So let's make a, let's make a initial commit. So now notice we have, it says creating node 100644. And they're all, it's all on the same node. So we have taken this entire project in this folder and we have said, hey, let's start like a little tree going on. And so if let me get my drawing tool. That's not my drawing tool. What the heck? Oh, here it is. So if we draw our tree so now so like a tree is usually like this and it can like kind of branch out branch off and go ever so we don't have any of this all we have is like a point right that's this node one zero zero six four four and as we go in time so as we go along in time we want to we, we want to have more nodes along this line and we can, you know, jump back. Like if something went wrong here, we go back to the previous one and we, you know, recover. So we don't, we're not starting from scratch every time something goes wrong. Like say you delete everything at this node. Well, it's okay. We have like history. And that's kind of the idea. So, <coughs> so right now we have created it. So we've used git add and git commit. And also a thing I use is git status. And that's just to, you know, keep, keep up with what's happening right like to like no notice what's happening so like here we can see oh we have some untracked files and no commits now if we do s get status it says hey we have untra an untracked file but we haven't c yeah we we haven't um we haven't added this to that and then i, I can say get log and that'll show us our previous commits. So, you know, let's say we add that new file and we say git commit and let's say, I don't know, extra. Now, if we do git status, now we have nothing to commit. We have, we have done everything. So if I say git log, now we have the two commits, the initial commit and the extra commit. Now, cool but how do we how do we use this in a real world environment well in the real world environment what we're going to do is we're going to be using something like github and this is something where a lot of people can link their accounts to one repository and we can all merge our commits we can all com make commits and merge them so this is the same project but it's the one i'm actually going to be using and so if i 
go navigate to that project and open it up. What you'll see, if, I, if we do log, you'll see that there's quite a few commits on this. And these commits, they're not, notice how it says it's the author is GitHub author here. And then these are with my email. These are um, linked to GitHub. So this is like on here. So if like we look at the branch here, we can go through and we can see all the commits. They're, they They match up exactly because this is being pushed so we have committed locally, and once you commit locally, you push your commits to a branch on like GitHub or GitLab or something like that. And that's kind of the perp that's kind of the idea. And then when you're done, and then you can say git pull. And now git pull, what it's going to do is it's going to look for any more changes. So if somebody else makes a change, for example, and pushes it, I can be like, hey, let me let me do a quick pull. Let's see what what has changed. So those are like the main um, ideas. So just to recap, we have git add. And you can specify file names themselves. You can say like, you know, um, I don't know, this game.js file. We want, we want this to be added. So game.js. But usually, you probably want like a bunch of files. So you can just specify a directory or dot. And dot will say like, hey, all files in this directory. Then we have git commit. And when you do a commit, you need to add a message. So you'll say dash m and then whatever your message is. And usually you want this to be like a quite a little summary of like what you've done in that in that work. So like, okay, I got project ready. I removed the extra windows. I we're ready to start the game. I started making a camera and a ball. S you'll, you kind of see how it becomes documenting. Then git push and pull and this is for like when when your when your git project is synced to something that is off computer it's like in the cloud it's somewhere else and multiple people can push and pull to it and then of course there's some helpful ones like git status and git log and these are just to monitor so like you can see like hey what about what what is up already and what what am i currently working with so like, say like all the way, uh oh, I'll just do it again. Uh -oh. So if I do get status, you'll see I get the same, same thing. And that's pretty much it. The only other thing I do want to mention is that there are like GUI based versions. So instead of using get status and get log, you can just look at it and you can jump around and you can make commits and, you know, you know, there's there's probably a way to see the files. To see the files and see what the changes are. And you can use these. It's really it really doesn't matter. As long as you understand you'll see that there's the same exact um commands. Also there's stuff like branching, stashing, all that kind of stuff. We're not gonna talk about that right now. That's kinda beyond the scope of this. This is just supposed to be an intro some basic commands that you'll want to, you know, get familiar with. Anyways, I hope this was helpful.